the princess and the frog. Many years ago, in a land across the sea, a good king lived with his lovely daughters three. They were all fair and kind, from big to small. But the youngest was the one he loved <laughs> most of all. One day, the princess went to the palace she loved best. Deep in the forest, she watched she play a rest. As she played with her ball, it suddenly bounced and fell. It hit a stone and a tree and dropped into the well. <coughs> Tap the record button beside me to record my voice. <laughs> the princess was sad. She wanted her ball. It's my favorite ball. I threw it and tossed, and, and now it's fallen into the well, and it's lost. Don't cry, said the frog. I can help you with that. I will find your ball in three seconds flat. But what will you give me, kind princess, in return? By giving you the ball, what will I earn? My ball fell. Would you help me, please? Whatever you want, the princess paid gold, silver, or jewels from the whole kingdom with. I don't want your money, the frog quickly said. There's something else that I want instead. Please take me to dinner if that's all right. Let me sleep in your room and kiss me good night. Of course, said the princess. Whatever you say, the frog said, is a deal, no problem at all. There it is, take it. Mm -hmm. The princess was so happy, she had her ball again. She started to play with it right there and then. She went back to the castle and as the sun slowly set. And what she promised the frog, she was quick to forget all thought. He called after her. You promise, please wait. She ran to the castle and shut the big gate. Thank you, bye bye. Oh, where are you going? The following night, as it got late, the king and his daughters all sat and ate. They suddenly heard a voice from the door. Remember your promise from the day before. Cheers! This looks really good! Hi, Daddy! Hmm, really good! Cheers, everyone! The princess opened the door, and what did she see? The frog standing in a puddle, wet as can be. The frog was all yucky. She didn't like him at all, so what if he helped her rescue her ball? She closed the door shut and went back to her meal and tried to forget about the frog and their deal. Who's that? Uh. Uh.
Oh no. How did you get here? The king said, Who was that? Why are, are you so pale? She stood through it and stammered, but taught him the tale. He said, My dear girl, no, don't you weep. But a promise you made is a promise you must keep. What happened? The princess brought the frog to sit where her plat. They had ice cream and soup as together they ate. The frog yawned. Gone are my hunger and thirst. Let's go to sleep now. I'm so full. I got burst. The princess looked sad and with a face full of gloom. She climbed up the stairs and took the frog to her room. Hmm. Wow. Bon appetit. She turned and said, Good night. And as she said this, the frog said, Hey, you promised. Where is my kiss? Oh, well, she thought. But she didn't speak. She shut her eyes tight and kissed him on the cheek. The room suddenly filled with a very thick fog. A handsome prince appeared in the place of the frog. Thank you, my princess. Your kiss broke the spell that turned me into the frog you met by the well. May one to love, so fair and so fine. Will you marry me? Will you be mine? The princess agreed and they lived ever since in a big castle fit for a princess and prince. Now everybody knows what the princess realized. Always keep your promise, for you may be surprised. <laughs> The end. The end.